Hey, what's up, guys? Stefan here, and welcome to another episode of Producing 4, the series where I take an artist requested by you and attempt to produce a track as if I were producing for that artist. Today, we are doing the heavily requested Janae Ayoko. So, I'm going to quit talking and get straight into the beat. So, I've already got my sound selected here, and I went for a mallet for the main sound. I'm actually using Native Instruments Mallet Flux here. What makes this instrument stand out is this use of multiple mallet instruments, all tied into one instrument. And we actually have an arpeggiator built in too, so we're going to make use of that today. We're going to throw in some nice, fat, soulful chords, because if you listen to Janae's music, you will know it's very soulful. It's very chill and soulful, so we're going to use, you know, minor nines and chords like that, just to give us a nice, laid-back vibe. <laughs> Cool, so that doesn't sound like Janae Ayoko at all, but there's a method to the madness. What we're going to do is we're going to take this chord progression and pitch it up one octave. Then we're going to add in half time, which is going to slow it down by half. And if you know anything about audio, you know that time and pitch are directly correlated. So as we slow this down, we're also going to pitch it down. Cool. So now that sounds really good. Let's add a couple more things to make it sound a little bit more interesting. So the first thing I'm going to add is the RC20. Basically, if you want that retro sound, that lo-fi sound, you want to warp your music, you know, give it the vinyl sound, tape cassette sound, this is the thing to do it. Right now I'm using a preset called Phasing Fun and let's put it on and see how it sounds. So you can hear it even gave it a bit more width as well. But let's look at some other presets really quickly so you get an idea of what this thing can actually do. So we have our main synth. Let's add some drums. And I'm going to keep it simple at first, but then we'll add some other stuff later. Cool. So we have a kick and a rim shot. Uh, I got those from Splice. And I've added a lot of reverb to the snare. Cool. So let's see how it sounds. It sounds nice but it's a bit too bright for the vibe that I'm going for. So, so I've rolled off a lot of the top and I've rolled off a lot of the bottom to give us this resulting sound. Cool, so it's a lot darker and it's less in your face and less present. So that's a little tip to EQ your reverbs. Cool, so I'm really liking the vibe so far. I think it has that very soulful, chilled vibe that you get from Janae Aiko. Um, but now we're gonna add some 808s to give it some meat. Once again, I'm using Sublab for my 808 basses. You've got everything you need. You've got your oscillators, you've got your sampler, you've got your sub, you've got your filters, your distortion and compressor all built in. And not to mention a bunch of fantastic presets, which is what I'm using today, 808 NASCAR. Cool, so the 808 sounds pretty good. However, let's make it sound a bit more interesting and add a pitch bend in one of our notes. To do that, we're gonna head into the piano roll. We're gonna come down here and select pitch bend. And what you wanna do is make sure this first initial node is set to zero. That means the pitch is unaffected. 
You know, we're not going up, we're not going down, we're at neutral, we're at the natural pitch. From there, we can click on the line to create additional nodes. And what we want to do is on our second note here, what we want to do is make it so the bass drops a full octave. So that's 12 notes. So we can drag this line down to minus 12. But what we also want to do is make the notes come back up before the end of the sound. It gives us a really nice sound, I promise you. Check this out. Did you hear that? Let's solo the 808. Pretty cool, right? Cool, so that sounds very, very nice. But what you will find with Janae's music is that it's often quite airy and, and ominous in terms of the musical production. So what I want to do is add a vocal pad in the background to kind of, you know, give it that vibe. For this, I'm using Farlight, another instrument from Native Instruments. It has a ton of vocal sounds and they sound beautiful. I love a vocal synth. It can add so much to your music production. I'm using a sound called Mel Grit and I've just rolled off a lot of the top and a lot of the bottom. So it's in the background and quite subtle. Great, so as you can hear that sounds very nice and it sits nicely in the background. It's not too much in your face. It's not gonna conflict with the vocals. That's the beauty of rolling off that top end. Cool, so our drums sound a bit dry. <laughs> you know, it sounds fine for the first part of the song maybe, but we need to add a bit more to the drums. So I'm thinking some hi-hats and let's kind of create a bit of a structure here so we can introduce our hi-hats a bit later on in the actual track. So what I did there was add in a couple of hi-hats there. One, you know, just keeping the rhythm, um, working off every other beat. And, and the others just kind of accenting different parts of the song. So, so as the bass does its pitch down, we have some hi-hats going t -t 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 with the actual 808 bass, which I think sounds pretty nice. Let's have a quick listen. Cool, so for this last part, we have this kind of breakdown where the main synth comes out and then we've kind of picked up the pace with the hi-hats. Um, so I'm not quite sure if this is gonna be an A section or a B section or a verse or a chorus. Um, I'll work that out afterwards, but what I'm gonna do is add one more vocal synth um, to the mix just to give it a bit more um, je ne sais quoi. You know, um, cool. So again, we've got a far light um, sound here. And again, I've drenched it in reverb so it sits nicely in the back. Cool. So that's a super simple touch you've added there. And there's a lot more super simple touches we could add that will culminate together in making something sound full and complete. But we're leaving it there for now because Native Instruments has sent me something pretty cool and I'm yet to open it because I wanted to do this video for you guys first. I know it's been a while since I've done a producing for episode and I know a lot of you new guys that I've subscribed over the last couple of months have subscribed for this specifically. So I didn't want to let you down by not putting out a producing for episode. So I have at least another producing for episode planned, but please let me know what other artists you would like for me to produce for and if you like this if you learned something new please let me know down in the comment section below give this video a thumbs up and of course subscribe for more just like this i've been stefan and as always happy beat making let's run the track one last time